Welcome to today's video about the most dangerous foods for arthritis. Have you ever wondered why your joints feel worse after certain meals? Could your breakfast, lunch, or dinner be secretly aggravating your arthritis? In today's episode, we're uncovering the truth about the foods that might be making your arthritis symptoms flare up. You might be surprised to find out that some of your everyday favorites could be on the list. Are you consuming one of the top 15 worst foods for your joints without even realizing it? And what could possibly be worse than sugar for your inflammation? Stay tuned as we delve deep into the science, exploring not just the what, but the why, and offering you practical, healthier alternatives to these arthritis triggers. Make sure you watch till the end, because you'll want to be fully prepared the next time you're at the grocery store or planning your meals. Let's get started and take control of your health together. To illustrate the impact of diet on arthritis, let me share a story. In a quiet village nestled between rolling hills and lush forests, there lived an ancient sage named Joseph. Unlike other sages who delved purely into the spiritual realms, Joseph had a keen interest in modern science. His modest home was filled with books on various subjects, from ancient scriptures to contemporary scientific journals. Villagers often sought his wisdom, not just for spiritual guidance, but also for his unique perspective on health and wellness. One day, a villager named Grace came to Joseph, desperate for relief from her arthritis pain. Joseph, with his profound knowledge of both ancient wisdom and modern science, guided her on how certain foods could exacerbate her condition. He explained the science behind inflammatory foods and provided practical, healthier alternatives. By making simple changes to her diet, Grace was able to reduce her pain and reclaim her passion for cooking. Join us as we explore this valuable information, helping you make informed choices for a healthier, pain-free life. Starting at food number one, soda and other sugary drinks. Consuming these beverages can exacerbate arthritis symptoms due to their high fructose content, which triggers the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines. These cytokines aggravate inflammation in the joints, worsening the pain and stiffness associated with arthritis. Additionally, sugary drinks contribute to weight gain, putting extra stress on weight-bearing joints like the hips and knees. This is particularly problematic for those with osteoarthritis. A study published in 2020 in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that increased consumption of sugar-sweetened beverages correlates with higher levels of uric acid, which can contribute to inflammation and increase the risk of gout, a form of inflammatory arthritis. Another critical aspect is the role of advanced glycation end products, AGs, which are formed when high sugar products are processed in the body. Ages contribute to oxidative stress and inflammation, further impacting arthritis symptoms. By limiting or avoiding soda and other sugary drinks, individuals with arthritis may see a reduction in flare-ups and an overall improvement in joint health. This approach is part of broader dietary recommendations for managing arthritis emphasizing the need for a balanced diet rich in anti-inflammatory foods. By making these changes, you can take control of your health and potentially alleviate some of the painful symptoms of arthritis. Next food number two, white bread. Eating white bread can negatively impact individuals with arthritis due to its high glycemic index and refined flour content, which can trigger an inflammatory response in the body. The process of refining grains strips away beneficial fiber, vitamins, and minerals, leaving behind starch that quickly elevates blood sugar levels. This rapid spike in blood sugar stimulates the production of inflammatory proteins called cytokines, known to exacerbate arthritis symptoms. A study published in Nutrients in 2017 highlighted that diets high in refined grains, like white bread, were associated with higher levels of inflammatory markers in the body. Moreover, white bread lacks the anti-inflammatory benefits found in whole grains, which contain fiber and other nutrients that help lower C-reactive protein, CRP, an inflammation marker often elevated in arthritis patients. Regular consumption of white bread and other high glycemic foods 
might not only contribute to inflammation, but also increase the risk of developing insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes, conditions frequently associated with chronic inflammation and exacerbated arthritis symptoms. Therefore, replacing white bread with whole grain alternatives is recommended to help manage inflammation and potentially alleviate the discomfort associated with arthritis. Next food number three, bacon. For individuals with arthritis, consuming bacon can have significant implications due to its high saturated fat and advanced glycation end products, ages, content. These compounds are known to potentially exacerbate inflammation a key factor in arthritis symptoms. A study published in Frontiers in Immunology highlights that diets high in saturated fats and ages can significantly contribute to increased levels of inflammation in the body. This is particularly relevant for those with arthritis, as inflammation directly impacts joint health, leading to increased pain and decreased mobility. Additionally, bacon's high salt content can lead to fluid retention, which may further aggravate joint swelling and pain. While the flavor and appeal of bacon are undeniable, it is advisable for individuals managing arthritis to consider these nutritional aspects and opt for lower-fat protein sources or plant-based alternatives to help manage their symptoms effectively. Moderation and dietary balance are key components of a holistic approach to managing arthritis. Next food number four, potato chips. The high content of trans fats and salt in potato chips can be particularly detrimental to those suffering from arthritis. Trans fats, often found in fried and processed foods, are known to increase levels of systemic inflammation. This type of fat alters the composition of cell membranes and can exacerbate inflammatory processes within the body, leading to increased arthritis pain and swelling. Moreover, the excessive salt content commonly found in potato chips contributes to water retention and increased blood pressure, further stressing the circulatory system and exacerbating inflammation. A study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology in 2006 highlighted the impact of diets high in trans fats on markers of inflammation in the body. It found that these unhealthy fats can significantly increase the levels of inflammatory cytokines, immune system substances that can play a direct role in increasing arthritis flare-ups and pain. Reducing the intake of such foods can be a critical step in managing arthritis symptoms more effectively and supporting overall joint health. Therefore, individuals with arthritis are often advised to avoid or limit their consumption of potato chips as part of a dietary strategy to reduce inflammation. Next, drinks number five, beer. Moderate to high consumption of beer can exacerbate arthritis symptoms due to several factors. First, beer contains gluten, which can trigger an inflammatory response in individuals with gluten sensitivity, celiac disease, or gluten intolerance. Additionally, beer is rich in purines, which are metabolized into uric acid in the body. High levels of uric acid can lead to gout, a type of arthritis characterized by severe inflammation and pain in the joints. Alcohol, including beer, also affects the body's ability to regulate inflammation. A 2021 study published in Nutrients found that alcohol consumption could increase the severity of rheumatoid arthritis by impacting immune pathways and inflammation regulation. Furthermore, Alcohol can interfere with the effectiveness of arthritis medications and contribute to other health issues such as liver disease and osteoporosis, indirectly worsening arthritis symptoms. Thus, individuals with arthritis might consider moderating their beer intake to manage their condition effectively. The combination of gluten, purines, and alcohol can amplify joint pain and inflammation. Moderation aligns with general dietary guidelines for reducing arthritis symptoms through lifestyle changes. Next food. Number six on the list is ice cream. This popular treat contains high levels of saturated fat and sugar, which can exacerbate inflammation, a critical factor in arthritis flare-ups. When the body metabolizes these sugars, it leads to the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines. These cytokines can intensify joint inflammation and pain, a study published in Nutrients in 2020 
highlights how diets high in refined sugars and saturated fats can accelerate the inflammatory process in rheumatoid arthritis patients by promoting oxidative stress and cytokine production. Additionally, the high caloric content of ice cream can contribute to weight gain. Excess weight puts additional pressure on the joints, particularly the knees, hips, and lower back, worsening arthritis symptoms. Maintaining a healthy weight is crucial for managing arthritis, as it helps reduce joint strain and inflammation. By choosing alternatives lower in sugars and fats, individuals with arthritis might better manage their symptoms. This approach not only helps in controlling inflammation, but also supports overall joint health and mobility. It's important for patients to consult with healthcare providers to tailor dietary choices that best suit their condition. Next food. Number seven on the list is margarine. High in trans fats and other processed ingredients, margarine is particularly problematic for individuals with arthritis. Trans fats are known to promote inflammation, a central feature of arthritis, exacerbating joint pain and swelling. A study highlighted in the Journal of Lipid Research in 2011 demonstrated that diets high in trans fats significantly increased levels of inflammatory markers in the blood. Additionally, margarine often contains omega-6 fatty acids. When not balanced with omega-3 fatty acids, omega-6 fatty acids can further drive inflammatory processes in the body. This imbalance is particularly detrimental to those suffering from inflammatory conditions like arthritis. Moreover, the processing of margarine introduces various artificial additives and emulsifiers. Some studies suggest these may affect gut health and immune response, potentially leading to increased systemic inflammation. Reducing or eliminating margarine and other sources of trans fats from the diet can be an important step for those managing arthritis. Replacing margarine with healthier fats, such as olive oil or avocado, can help reduce inflammation and support overall joint health. This approach is supported by a broader body of research advocating for a diet low in processed foods and high in natural, nutrient-rich ingredients to mitigate arthritis symptoms. Next, food number eight on the list is pepperoni pizza. For individuals with arthritis, Consuming pepperoni pizza may exacerbate symptoms due to several key ingredients that promote inflammation. Research has shown that diets high in saturated fats, which are abundant in the cheese and pepperoni on the pizza, can increase levels of inflammatory markers in the body. A study published in Cell Biochemistry and Biophysics in 2024 highlighted how saturated fats can activate adipose tissue inflammation, exacerbating the inflammatory response in arthritis. Additionally, the refined flour used in pizza dough has a high glycemic index, leading to rapid spikes in blood sugar and insulin levels. This process can trigger an inflammatory cascade, as outlined in research from the Journal of the American Dietetic Association in 2013. The inclusion of processed meats like pepperoni, which contain advanced glycation end products, AGs, and nitrates, further contributes to inflammation and oxidative stress, worsening symptoms for those with inflammatory types of arthritis. Moreover, common toppings and sauces on pepperoni pizzas often contain high levels of sodium and preservatives, which can not only contribute to inflammation, but also exacerbate joint swelling and discomfort. Managing diet by reducing the intake of such foods can be a crucial step in controlling arthritis flare-ups and maintaining joint health. Next food. Number nine on the list is diet soda. Artificial sweeteners commonly found in diet sodas have been linked to increased inflammation, which can exacerbate arthritis symptoms. One such sweetener, aspartame, is frequently used in diet beverages and has been scrutinized for its potential health impacts. Although research directly connecting aspartame with arthritis is limited, studies suggest that aspartame can cause inflammation and oxidative stress in the body, both of which are critical factors in the development and exacerbation of arthritis. For instance, a study published in Endocrinologia e Nutrition in 2015 demonstrated that aspartame might alter immune responses in rats, 
potentially leading to increased inflammation. This inflammatory response is particularly concerning for individuals with arthritis, as it can worsen joint pain and mobility issues. Additionally, diet sodas may contribute to weight gain and poor insulin regulation, paradoxically, despite their low calorie profile due to their impact on hunger signals and gut bacteria. Given these factors, individuals with arthritis may want to consider limiting or avoiding diet soda. Opting for water or natural fruit juices can be a healthier choice for maintaining joint health and overall well-being. Next food, number 10, instant noodles. The high sodium content and preservatives in instant noodles can be problematic for those with arthritis. These components can exacerbate inflammation and contribute to chronic health issues. Excessive sodium intake is linked to increased blood pressure and can heighten the inflammatory response aggravating joint pain and discomfort associated with arthritis. Additionally, monosodium glutamate, MSG, commonly found in instant noodles, is another additive that can induce inflammation, particularly in individuals sensitive to it. A study published in The Curious in 2023 explored the broader impact of processed foods on inflammation. The research indicated that diets high in processed foods, such as instant noodles, are associated with higher levels of inflammatory markers. These findings support concerns that diets rich in processed, high-sodium foods can significantly influence inflammation, worsening conditions like arthritis. Moreover, the fats used in instant noodles are often of a type that can contribute to the body's inflammatory processes. The omega-6 fatty acids predominant in the oils used for instant noodles can further unbalance the ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids, promoting systemic inflammation when consumed in excess. These dietary components make instant noodles a less suitable choice for individuals managing arthritis. Reducing or avoiding instant noodles can help maintain better joint health and reduce inflammation. As always, consult with a healthcare provider to tailor dietary choices to your specific health needs and conditions. Next food. Number 11. Grapeseed oil. High levels of omega-6 fatty acids found in grapeseed oil may contribute to inflammation when consumed in large amounts, which is particularly concerning for individuals with arthritis. This inflammation can exacerbate arthritis symptoms such as joint pain and swelling. While omega-6 fatty acids are essential for health, the modern diet is often heavily skewed towards omega-6 at the expense of omega-3 fatty acids, which have anti-inflammatory effects. This imbalance can lead to chronic inflammation, potentially worsening arthritis. A 2012 study in the Journal of Nutrition and Metabolism explored how dietary fats influence inflammation markers. The research highlighted that diets high in omega-6 fatty acids from sources like grapeseed oil can enhance pro-inflammatory cytokine production, which plays a crucial role in the inflammatory processes associated with arthritis. Therefore, while not inherently dangerous, the ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids in the diet is critical, especially for those managing inflammatory conditions. Switching to oils with a better balance of fatty acids, such as olive oil or flaxseed oil, might be beneficial for reducing the risk of exacerbated arthritis symptoms. By adjusting your intake of these fats, you can help manage inflammation and improve joint health. Always consult with a healthcare provider to tailor dietary choices to your specific health needs and conditions. Next food, number 12, French fries. Regular consumption of French fries poses a risk to individuals with arthritis due to their high content of unhealthy fats and salt, both of which can exacerbate inflammation. When potatoes are fried at high temperatures, they produce advanced glycation end products, ages, and trans fats. Ages and trans fats are known to trigger inflammatory pathways, worsening joint pain and swelling associated with arthritis. Additionally, the high salt content in French fries can lead to water retention and increased blood pressure, which can amplify arthritis symptoms. Interestingly, while focusing on the impact of French fries on arthritis, 
it is noteworthy to consider broader dietary patterns. A study published in 2018 in prostaglandins, leukotrienes, and essential fatty acids highlighted the role of dietary fats and inflammation. It indicated that omega-6 fatty acids, commonly found in oils used for frying french fries, could lead to an imbalance with omega-3 fatty acids, thereby promoting systemic inflammation. This suggests that not just the ingredients of french fries, but also the cooking method and the type of oil used can significantly affect inflammatory responses in arthritis sufferers. Limiting foods like french fries as part of a balanced anti-inflammatory diet might help mitigate arthritis symptoms and improve overall joint health. Opting for healthier cooking methods and ingredients can also contribute to better management of inflammation. Next food number 13. White rice, a high glycemic index GI food, can potentially exacerbate arthritis symptoms. Foods with a high GI cause rapid spikes in blood sugar and insulin levels after meals, which can increase the production of pro-inflammatory markers like interleukin-6 and tumor necrosis factor alpha. Chronic elevation of these inflammatory markers is linked to worsening joint inflammation and pain in arthritis patients. A study published in the Journal of the American Heart Association in 2020 demonstrated that diets high in refined grains, such as white rice, were associated with higher levels of systemic inflammation in the body. The research indicated that individuals consuming higher amounts of refined grains had significantly greater concentrations of inflammatory markers in their blood. This is particularly relevant for individuals with inflammatory types of arthritis, such as rheumatoid arthritis, where diet plays a crucial role in managing the intensity and frequency of flare-ups. For individuals with arthritis, incorporating lower GI alternatives like brown rice or quinoa might be beneficial. These options have a more gradual impact on blood sugar and may help in reducing inflammatory responses. Adjusting dietary habits is a practical approach that can complement other medical treatments to manage arthritis symptoms more effectively. Next, number 14, cheesecake. For individuals with arthritis, indulging in cheesecake can exacerbate symptoms due to its high levels of saturated fats and sugars. These components are known to promote inflammatory processes within the body. A study published in 2020 in the Journal of Inflammation Research highlights how saturated fats can trigger adipose tissue inflammation, which is not only detrimental to metabolic health, but can also increase the severity of inflammatory conditions such as arthritis. Furthermore, the high sugar content in cheesecake contributes to the release of cytokines, inflammatory messengers that can worsen joint pain and swelling. This process is supported by research from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, which elucidates how diets high in refined sugars and fats can lead to a higher production of inflammatory markers. That's it for today's video, everyone. We've explored some of the most dangerous foods for arthritis, and it's fascinating how much our diet affects our health, isn't it? Do you find that your arthritis pain increases after eating any of the foods we listed today, or perhaps others we didn't mention. We're here to learn from each other, so if you found this video helpful, just comment below. Remember to like, subscribe, and click that bell icon so you don't miss out on our future videos.